Dirt Every Day Extras go live every weekday on Motor Trend On Demand. Here's an example of an episode you missed last week. Let's start every day extra. Let's talk about suspension joints. So, say you have a link suspension like on a Jeep Wrangler TJ or JK or on the back of a Toyota 4Runner or those new Dodge trucks. Um, a lot of the link suspensions are basically a bar and then at the end it has some sort of joint that has to flex. Uh, most of the OEMs will use a basic bushing. So the bushing is like you have the metal link and there's a tube and then at the end of it there's some sort of rubber or polyurethane or flexible bushing and then a metal tube in the middle of that. So you run a bolt through that into a bracket and that works as your suspension joint. It moves, it doesn't move a lot, um, it doesn't trans much a whole lot of noise from the road to the vehicle and so most late model vehicles are more concerned with noise reduction than a lot of flex. So a lot of them will have some sort of bushing. Now you can buy aftermarket bushings. It's basically a piece of tube, some sort of polyurethane bushing, another tube inside. A lot of them have a grease fitting so you can lubricate that bushing over time. Um, eventually, the guys at Curry, I think, were the first ones to develop the Johnny joint. Now the Johnny joint is a piece of tubing. It also has some bushings inside, but then inside that bushing is this ball. And as you can see there, that ball has some little legs sticking out the end and a bolt will run through that. And when it's all inside here, like this can still flex and move around. Um, over the years, other companies have made similar versions. This is from Ballistic. Uh, these are flex joints from BDS. I've used these on a bunch of different projects and they're available in different sizes. There's smaller ones larger ones like these here. Uh, Curry and BDS, I think the, the, the cases are both forged. Um, this is a great kind of middle of the road uh, joint because it's between a bushing and the high end uh, heim joint or rod end. Now, when I say middle of the road, that doesn't mean that they're not really good. I've seen these in race trucks uh, like the kind of the stock mod class of King of the Hammers and desert vehicles. I've seen them actually running these types of joints. Really high miles, they can take a lot of abuse that, because they're a mixture of kind of a bushing and a fully forged housing. Um, they work really well and they're not as kind of prone to transmitting shock loads. There's a little bit of cushion in, this, in there. So this is a good opportunity, especially for if you're doing like your first custom suspension, you might want to look into a flex joint or Johnny joint. From there, a lot of people go to these. These are Heim joints, um, also known as rod ends. And there's a lot of different versions of these. This is by FK. This is also by FK. Um, FK is probably one of the best that you can get. Uh, I know that there's other companies out there that make them. There's better, there's really high end rod ends and there's kind of low buck cheap versions that aren't gonna last very long. And there's different grades, which depends on how tight this is, how, how well it's sealed in there, how much it will flex. Um, are you using misalignment spacers? Are they high misalignment spacers? Um, some of them have the misalignment integrated right into the ball that's inside there. This is the type of stuff you see on the big dollar race cars, the trophy trucks, the unlimited class buggies. Um, I've seen this on a lot of rock crawlers, competition rock crawlers. This is kind of where the money is spent. And a lot of these guys replace these after every race or every couple of race. Um, it transmits a lot of, there's not a lot of flex in this. Like when this is attached, all right, I take that back. There's flex, but there's not a lot of cushion. So uh, you, the bolt in the bracket is not moving around at all. Where the Johnny joint and a bushing has a little bit of cushion in there, these usually don't have any cushion. It's solid. It'll move, the axle can still articulate, move up and down, but there's no kind of cushion against um, hard hits or anything like that. So it's all very precision, I guess is the word to describe rod ends. I've used all of these different types. Um, it kind of depends on what you're using, what you're building, uh, and what your budget is. You can use steel links. 
and have these sort of welded threaded bungs they're called. This basically goes into the end of a rod of a piece of tubing, you weld it in and then your rod end screws into that. That's what this is designed. This is an aluminum link that the ends are drilled and tapped and threaded. Some um, builders do opposite threads. So one will be left hand thread, one will be right hand thread. Then when it's in the vehicle, you can crank the link and adjust the length, allowing you to kind of fine tune the suspension geometry. Other people feel like that is a hindrance and they just put um, a bushing at one end and a rod end at the other so it doesn't want to work loose or rotate or they run both right hands or both left hands at either end. So a lot of different options on what you're building. Is there one correct way to do it? Not really. It all depends on what you're building, what you're using it for, how much you want to spend. Are you going to drive this thing down the street if the the suspension is really harsh and it's transmitting a lot of noise or a lot of clunking. Is that going to drive you nuts? Or do you want to have bushings that are nice and soft or bushings a little bit harder or some sort of middle of the road flex joint, Johnny joint? So that's a little overview of suspension joints. I've seen really big versions on race trucks. I've seen smaller versions on hot rods. Um, you can go to a lot of your different aftermarket parts houses like uh, Summit Racing or Poly Performance or Jegs or a lot of those builder places and they'll have these different types of components and you can order just the parts, you can order the bungs, you can order links already made. It all depends on what you're looking for. So that's it for Dirt Everyday Extra. I hope you guys learned something new. Tune in next time when we talk to you about more cool stuff from around the shop. Did you get it? I'll do one more. If you need more Dirt Everyday Extra, go sign up right now.